Hey guys, welcome back to another snapshot video. Today we got a brief one, because this week was a little bit overshadowed by the mob vote. Everybody's talking about that. My favorite, by the way, is the Alley. But let's also check out this week's snapshot. So let's start with something technical. The game uses a new method to generate random numbers. One of the yeah, direct consequences of this is that if you would enter the exact same seed as last week, your world would look different. But this shouldn't be a big issue, since the whole terrain in 1.18 changed anyway, and we're still in the snapshot phase. So it's just a little technicality on the side. Also, there was an issue that there were only 2 to the power 48 different seeds for a while. With this change of the random number generator, we are back to the usual 2 to the power of 64 seeds. That's something I hinted at the end of the last video already. Since the Badlands biome can extend even higher in this version than the previous one, it would only make sense if the Badlands mine shafts could also go higher, and this was done in this snapshot. So here we got an example of a mine shaft that would go up to Y80. Quite sure if you would search a little bit more, could find a mine shaft that goes even higher. So that's also taken care of now. From now on, Geodes will only be able to generate up to Y30. So a good way so far to search for a geode was to just yeah, look at the bottom of the ocean. There was a good chance you could find one. It's still possible, but probably not as likely anymore. So here we are in a deep ocean biome and I found a geode yeah, at the bottom. This goes up to Y38, roughly. I think the lowest block is indeed at Y30. So it seems like the yeah, lowest block uh, must be within Y30 and then it's okay. So if we have a fly around, see if we can find more. Yeah, just from flying around, I can already tell there's definitely fewer than in 1.17. It's definitely not as common anymore. But here's another one. A couple of weeks ago, a new behavior was added that you wouldn't stop sprinting if you hit a wall in a very narrow angle. In this week's snapshot, the leniency for this was increased slightly. So if you... Yeah, still have a too wide of an angle, you still go into just normal walking mode, but it's not as extreme anymore. So here, the narrow angle still keeps sprinting. The issue that axolotls wouldn't spawn as described in last week's snapshot also has been resolved. So if you get rid of the entities really quick, you can see that immediately here new axolotls would spawn here, since the requirements are met. So we need a clay block within five blocks, the water block the axolotl could spawn in. So we can compare it with the other water tank. Here we don't have any axolotl spawning. This is, by the way, a lush cave biome. Since some chunk loading issues have been resolved in this week's snapshot, and also the botched nether generation is back to normal, at least it looks like it, I'd say this version is definitely playable in survival now. In case you want to update your old worlds to the snapshot, I definitely recommend to wait a little bit longer until we have the biome blending and also until we have more options available to decide what's going to happen below Y0 in our old worlds. But I just quickly check the end, which also looks normal. In case you want to start a new world, I think this snapshot yeah, should be fine. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.